Hello everyone. This week, sadly, we're talking about the tragic passing away of Chadwick Boseman. I'll also show you the books I picked up, the new ones and uh, some of the spec books. Let's go take a look. Well, let's start with the uh, passing of Chadwick Boseman, uh, such an unbelievable actor and uh, really by all accounts, an even more unbelievable person uh, with all the humanitarian work he did. I myself am actually not that big of a, a Black Panther fan. Um, I don't follow the comics, but, uh, but the movie was just simply unbelievable to me. Um, as an Asian American, um, it was uh, it was an incredible movie uh, just to see uh, minority uh, black man lead. Um, obviously, Shang Chi is coming out, and and it's 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 just such an important uh, figure. He, you know, incredible talent, um, and you know humbly accepted all of the responsibilities around being such a superstar. His presence will be lost. Uh, this is my favorite Black Panther um, cover for two reasons, I think. Number one, it's incredible. Uh, and number two, it's by uh, a Korean uh, artist, uh, Ian Lee In Hyuk. I'm sure you're familiar with him. Uh, he's do he does a number of covers now and is incredible. I don't even know if I should talk about this, but, but I will. Um, and that's that, of course, you know, the next natural question is what's going to happen to the MCU? Um, and we don't know. Uh, but I think it'd be tough to recast him. I, I, they may, I don't know, but um, I, I just think that, that it's going to be very, very difficult. You know, he's, he's such an icon uh, and, and I honestly think people would be mad if they if they recast him. So the next logical, and people have been talking about it, uh, is is obviously his sister. Um, and this is the first appearance of here, uh, Shuri, who um, was played in incredibly well in the movie. Everybody loves her character. Probably in the end, they they would you know as they do in the comics. Maybe they were going to pass the baton. I don't know if they're going to do that sooner or not. But, uh, but that'd be, you know, that's, that might be the next logical, uh, step. And then, um, you know, she does, uh, in this comic, end up wearing the suit. Uh, I'm incredibly devastated like everybody else. They are, all of our thoughts are with, uh, his family and, uh, and, and his legacy. So what did I pick up this week? So I was able to get this Daredevil 4 of the current run that completes the run. I actually haven't read it. I've heard so many good reviews. Uh, I just need to find some time. But I do have uh, 1 through 20 uh, of the current Daredevil run, which you know, everybody's talking about as being incredible. I got this Thor 6 which is the Mikado variant, which is a store variant. Unbelievable. Um, I only got the Virgin. Uh, I didn't get the trade. And in one of my other videos, I talked about this Thanos 17. Um, this is the second print. I believe it's the first appearance of Silver Surfer Black wielding Milner. So you can see it here. I grabbed a set of these Clayton Crane, as you know, I'm a huge Clayton Crane fan uh, of Venom 27. I think this is Venom 27. I apologize if I got that wrong. And um, so, you know, this, these are tough to get. You know, they sell out literally within seconds. Um, I had to buy mine off eBay. Luckily, I didn't pay too much for it. But, uh, but it's unbelievable. And then I did pick up the Peach Momoko Horizon Zero Dawn. I did not play this video game. I just think uh, I'll be getting all these covers. I just think they're unbelievable. And she's, she's such, for me, she's such a hit and miss artist. I, I'm a huge fan 
Uh, some of her art I don't like as much as others, but uh, these ones I think are great. So let's get into some of the spec books that I picked up this week. So I am starting to watch the final season of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So this is the first appearance of Quake. Uh, unbelievable uh, Delato cover. Um, and I don't have these, so I'm trying to find them in high grade. This one is luckily high grade. And uh, I'd like to get the whole set, but glad to get this one. I don't know which Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going. I've, I've, I've tried to avoid spoilers. Um, are they going to bring those characters in? I do have the, uh, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. run with all those characters because I do like them. They have That would be the first appearance of, you know, Fitz and Simmons and some of the other ones. Obviously not of Agent Coulson. Or it might be actually of Agent Coulson. I'm not sure. So I have a number of these. Uh, as we know, Monica Rambo is coming to, uh, or is already in the MCU. So uh, whenever I see these, I pick them up, you know, I, you know super cheap. Um, it's just a spec. So this is Monica Rambo becomes uh, Photon. And then um, I actually had these already. But this is the book that I picked up. So I, I have two of these. Uh, this is the book where she uh, ends up becoming Spectrum. And Spectrum is, an, is the one who ends up being in the Ultimate. So, um, and we know... She's already MCU, MCU. We saw on stage her as an adult. Um, we know she's going to be in the shows. Um, I think she might be um, in uh, the, the, the one coming up with uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon. So this might be one you look for. You can grab these for super cheap, of course. Uh, I have a couple of them. Speaking of video games, one of my favorite movies as a kid, The Last Starfighter. I've heard that they, as you probably have too, that they may remake this movie. I saw this for a dollar and I couldn't resist. So I grabbed that. And then I did mention on my Instagram account the... When you saw the trailer for uh, The King in Black, Donny Cates does mention, you know, Cthulhu. He mentions it in the in the trailer, which I'm just, you know, totally out there on the edge right now. But the Cthulhu, if you don't know, and you can look it up, um, I'll spell it here for you on uh, um, in my video here, but is a kind of ancient tale by H.P. Lovecraft. I think it came out years and years ago. Like, I, I looked it up, something 1930s or something like that, and it's a science fiction story about these kind of ancient beings that are here on earth underwater and, and there's a number of short stories and books about it that he wrote and it influenced so many things uh, from the movie Aliens to Conan a lot of different authors talk about how his work has influenced so anyways there are these ancient creatures you never know if they might quote unquote pull them in I thought this was the first appearance of Cthulhu but it's not I looked up in Key Collector um, and, uh, and they said this, which then I looked at, uh, that they said, this is the first appearance. So these are just crazy books. You know, you can get them for super cheap. Um, and I don't know if they'll show up in the King in Black, but they are such iconic figures. I don't even know the copyrights or who owns what. So if they could be used anywhere, but something to look for. Um, I thought it was fun. So I grabbed them. Anyways, that's what I've got this week. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you can. Talk to you soon.